All through his first run for the White House, Barack Obama made the Tar Heel State a priority. Thank you, North Carolina. If the president runs for a second term in 2012, North Carolina could once again be a major part of his campaign. Charlotte is one of four finalists to host the Democratic National Convention in 2012. If you think about major events that you can host, uh, there are probably five that are real game changers for uh, a state and for a city. And a major party convention is clearly one of those types of events. An estimated 35,000 political leaders, delegates, and members of the media make their way to the Democratic National Convention every four years. That kind of influx can bring an economic jolt of hundreds of millions of dollars and much more. It helps us not only nationally but internationally because the eyes of the world are generally on the conventions of our country. Retired Bank of America CEO Hugh McCall is one of a group of Charlotte leaders working to lure the DNC to North Carolina. I think it would be tremendous for Charlotte and it would help bring business to Charlotte, which is our business. One thing about Charlotte is it's a business city. Now city leaders are pursuing one of their most important business plans yet and making a pitch to the Democratic National Committee. The National Party sent a delegation to check out Charlotte in July. Among other things, the group visited local restaurants like King's Kitchen and took a thorough look at Time Warner Cable Arena. It all happened during a two-day visit. We wanted to show them how compact our downtown area is, very walkable. The arena, the convention center, all of the major hotels, restaurants, right here very close together. But then also the diversity of the destination. We showed them the Speedway, we showed them the U.S. National Whitewater Center, we showed them the Billy Graham Library. Charlotte's competing with Cleveland, St. Louis, and Minneapolis to land the convention and won't hear a final decision until late this year. Each of the cities needs to have as many as 15,000 hotel rooms available and large meeting spots. This isn't the first time the Queen City has thrown its crown into a bid to bring a national convention to town. Charlotte launched an unsuccessful push to lure the Republican National Convention back in 2000. But the city has grown a lot in the 10 years since, and this go-round, Charlotte leaders like their chances a lot better. The Charlotte region has made incredible investments over the last 10, 15 years. You know, billion dollars of destination assets in Center City, Charlotte. and. This would provide an incredible opportunity to introduce Charlotte to the world. The city has better transportation systems now. Douglas Airport is one of the nation's busiest. And Charlotte's local transportation options are much fuller these days. Uptown features dozens of restaurants, the NASCAR Hall of Fame, and several new art museums. In May, Charlotte hosted the National Rifle Association Convention and its 70,000 plus attendees. Tens of thousands of people easily congregate in the center city of Charlotte, and we are used to holding these big, big events. But the Democratic National Committee's assessment goes well beyond amenities. And then the other really was to look specifically at how they could produce the convention, how they could hold the convention, how it would fit here, work here. And then I think also the soft things of who we would be dealing with and the type of community. Charlotte leaders are assembling a broad group to draw the Democrats into town, and not all of those supporters lean to the left. There are many things to be thinking about other than just pure politics. This is a business program for them and as well as us. They're coming to do business in a community. We want to welcome them with open arms. Jerry Blackman is one of several Republicans working to bring the opposing party to Charlotte, a group that includes former Governor Jim Martin and former Charlotte Mayor Richard Venroot. Martin and Venroot recently wrote an op-ed in the Charlotte Observer to build support for the Democrats coming to Charlotte. One of the things we've been really um, conscious of trying to show is a united front, um, a bipartisan front, uh, support of the business community, support of the political community. And we have a demonstrated record of government and business co collaborating to make things happen. So if we are picked, I can assure you we'll do a great job with it. Those who know the Democratic National Committee's inner workings well say having that broad support is a major selling point. In the end, the deciding factor for the Democrats could be the city's backdrop. Charlotte has a nice profile. It, it looks good. It looks good on television. 
Cleveland, unfortunately, does it. Minneapolis, they've been to. St. Louis, I think, is the real strong contender. Charlotte struggled in this recession, especially in the financial services sector that's defined it for so long. Mayor Anthony Fox thinks those challenges give his city an advantage. When the story is told in 2012, the question for this country is going to be um, not whether we uh, have taken a punch, but how are we going to get up? And this city is getting up every day. We are focusing on the, the industries of the future, technology, health care, um, energy, uh, education, those kind of things. So we feel like we present the image that the, that the administration would like to, like to present at a convention. Bringing the convention could require a $45 million investment, expected to come mostly from private funds. Convention boosters say the four-day extravaganza could have an economic impact of more than $150 million in the Charlotte region, and they hope the benefits spread statewide. You know, what we're going to do is really make a concerted effort, um, not only through our uh, marketing efforts in Charlotte, but through North and South Carolina tourism folks, to try to get the message out to all the delegates and media, come early, go to the mountains, go to the beach, go to the lakes. We believe that, that once people come here, once they see what we have to offer, they'll come back. In the midst of all the economic considerations is, of course, the political dynamic. I think I would want to look at that. Davidson College political there. science professor Susan Roberts says the fact that North Carolina's on the short list to host a national party convention shows how important the state has become. It says that Charlotte is a place, more generally North Carolina is a place, where there's a lot of political fluidity, and, and that's good. I mean, I think you, you don't want to feel shut out. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.